Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Bitcrusher in Logic. Bitcrusher is a really interesting type of distortion that uses downsampling and changing the resolution to create a clipping and distorted effect. So when you open up Bitcrusher, you're met with a handful of parameters as well as three different modes. We have Fold, Clip and Wrap. And essentially what these are is Fold is a softer type of distortion, Wrap is a slightly harsher type of distortion and Clip is a much harsher type of distortion. So we've got soft, medium and harsh essentially is how I look at it. So I'll be demonstrating all of this on Clip so it's really obvious what all the changes are and what they do. Then our four other parameters down the bottom here, we have two quite standard ones. We've got Drive and Mix. So Drive is essentially the distortion gain, how much distortion you actually want to introduce. And then the mix is the dry wet blend to get a balance between your original unaffected signal and then your clipped distorted signal. And then we've got resolution and downsampling, which are really the two main characteristics of this distortion. So I'll just be demonstrating this on a piano melody from a song I've been working on for a little while. It sounds like this normally. And we're going to be applying the bit crusher to that. So first we'll talk about resolution. Resolution will set the bit rate and at lower values of the resolution it'll increase the amount of sampling errors. This means there will be a lower precision in all the sample calculations and this will generate more distortion. And at much lower values of 1 and 2 the distortion can actually be louder than usable signal. So I'll show you what I mean, I'll just whack it up to 24. Hit play and slowly start bringing it down. So at 24 it's on full, everything sounds fine, it'll all sound normal. And then I'll just start to drop it down. Everything still sounds alright, it's starting to get a bit of hiss. And as we hit 8, you've got quite a lot of hiss now. So I keep going. And then when we've hit 4, that's when it's really kicked in. You can hear there's a lot of errors going on there, creating that crushed effect. So as the melody is quite jumpy, it's quite stop-starty, when we've gone down to one bit, we've pretty much lost all the signal. We're just getting the odd sound here and there, but certainly nothing consistent. And next we have downsample, and this reduces the sample rate. So if you're working with a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz, as most sample rates are, it will be reducing that sample rate. So at the moment, on times one, nothing will be happening, everything's normal go to times 2 then it'll be half of that so 22 kilohertz then if we go to 4 it'll be a fourth of that so 11 kilohertz all the way up to 40 so 1100 hertz so the higher this is the lower the sample rate is and to create a good effect from bit crusher is essentially to find a good blend of these two so at the moment we're on a sample rate down sample rate of 40 which will sound like this it's going to sound horrendous So a really, really low sample rate. That's a bit extreme for my liking, so I'm just going to drop it down quite a lot, probably to about 10, and also drop the resolution down to about, oh, we'll go for 10 as well. So we're not going down to quite as low as we were before when we were on 4 and it sounded really, really crunchy, but we're still going to have a bit of sampling errors in there. So if I hit play now, it actually sounds all right, to be honest. If we play around with these a bit more, Just by tweaking them ever so slightly, you can get some good results quite quickly. Obviously this is all preference and how you would like to use this is completely up to you. And the last parameter to look at is the clip level, handle and field, which is this green dot over here essentially. And if we click this, we can move it down or up and it will change where the clipping or the distortion will actually begin. It's somewhat similar to drive, but it'll, it just introduces the distortion at a lower volume. Essentially, it's like turning the drive up here and then turning your fader down. You're just getting some more distortion without actually making it any louder. So we'll just tweak these around a little bit more and see what kind of sound we can get. We'll change the mix and the drive as well.
So again, by using the mix, we can actually have created a really, really clipped signal, but by blending it with the original, it actually, it actually works quite well. So if it sounds like this on its own, which is a bit harsh and abrasive for my liking, but if we just use it slightly in there, it actually complements it quite well. So the bit crusher is a really interesting type of distortion. You can get some cool results out of it for sure. I like using it on melodies and lead lines, but again, quite subtly. If you want to use it quite fully, then basses are cool with it. Maybe even on a kick drum can provide some good results. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.